what I'm about to say with some grain of salt, although given WWE's track record and given that at least part of their statement from last Monday, not this past Monday, but the Monday before about the Sasha Banks Naomi situation, at least part of it's already been proven untrue in that, oh, they were uncomfortable working with two of the participants, even though the participants were never named. And as it turns out, the two speculated participants that they were talking about, they had worked with previously in the past with no problems. But anyway, getting to the story about that, a source close to Naomi claims, and like I said, claims because there's no evidence, claims that Sasha Banks and Naomi actually left Raw hours before the show even was on the air. Which means if they left hours beforehand, then the whole story about they left in the middle of the show, not true at all. Which also means that if they left left hours before the show in the air, WWE probably had plenty of time to scramble and make another show, which from what I've heard, I haven't watched it. But from what I understand, it ended up being for the better. Funny how we can get WWE to do some do some um, good excuse my language when their backs are against the wall when when they can't afford to be lazy despite this if this is true they advertised a six packs challenge anyway and made it look like Sasha Banks and Naomi left in the middle of the show when in fact they left hours earlier they knew that match was not going to happen they knew that match was not going to happen yet they put it out anyway and for those that said oh man that's hearsay or uh they've done it before remember SummerSlam last year when they kept advertising Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair even though it was already new ahead of time that Sasha Banks and Naomi had been pulled from house shows in weeks prior to that event that Bianca had showed back up they allowed her but they still kept Sasha off and you know there's all kinds of speculation and rumors that it was COVID it was some undisclosed injury you know all kinds of stuff they knew Sasha was not going to be at SummerSlam So don't tell me they're not capable of this. They are capable of this. Now, do I still think Sasha and Naomi were unprofessional in leaving? Yes. But if this story is true, this paints WWE in a very bad light. It doesn't let Sasha and Naomi off the hook, but it makes WWE look very bad. And the fact that they're going all these lengths, including last night's Raw, to make Sasha and Naomi look like the total bad guys and they're the good guys, the fact that they're going out of their way really looks childish and petty. And from what I understand, they have zero plans for them, even if they do come back. So, I don't know. (laughs) Even though I still think they were unprofessional and leaving, It's looking more and more. They may have had very good reason besides the fact that they weren't going to win. I think they had way more reason to be. WWE's digging themselves a hole if this story is true. Anyway, tell me what y'all think in the comment section. I'm out.